The young woman from Wyoming is recognized on her resolution. More than 30 witnesses in our investigation have invoked their Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. My name is Eric Tucker, and I am a reporter in the Washington Bureau of the Associated Press. But a key task remains. We must seek the testimony under oath of January 6th Central Player. The House January 6th Committee has voted to issue a subpoena to former President Donald Trump for his testimony and for documents. This is arguably the most aggressive step that the panel has taken during its months-long investigation into the run-up to the January 6th insurrection at the Capitol. Secret Service, that members of the crowd were armed, President Trump had been told, and there was no doubt that President Trump knew what he was going to do, sending an angry mob, a number of whom were clad in tactics. We've worked for more than a year to get those answers. We've conducted more than a thousand interviews and depositions. We The American public has heard from a broad array of witnesses, Democrats and Republicans, government officials, private citizens, Trump allies. Um, really, many dozens and dozens of people have been presented before the committee, and we've heard their testimony now through the course of nine hearings. But the one person that we have not heard from is Donald Trump. And one of the statements that was made by Representative Benny Thompson, who is the chairman of the committee, is that he owes it to the American public to hear from the man who this whole investigation is centered around. And he said that as part of an effort to hold Donald Trump accountable, they felt compelled to take that step and to do what they could to have an answer for the actions of January 6th and the lead up to it. It is almost certain that Donald Trump will not testify already. His spokesman has been dismissing this uh, move as a partisan exercise. And so we have every expectation that he will not agree to testify. He, of course, did not offer to appear voluntarily, so we would not expect him to comply with the subpoena. And I think one thing to note timing wise as much depends on what happens in the midterm elections, because if uh, Republicans were to take control of the House, presumably the subpoena would be withdrawn and the investigation goes away and there would be no more compelled obligation on Donald Trump to respond. 